find the inverse function for y is equal to sinh x or y is equal to shine x, depending on how you pronounce it. So let y be equal to arc sinh of x. Then by definition, x will be equal to sinh of y. Therefore, sinh of y we can write as e to the y minus e minus e to the minus y over 2 is equal to x. Multiply by 2, we get 2x is equal to e to the y minus 1 over e to the y, because e to the minus y means that. Multiply by e to the y, we get 2x e to the y, e to the y minus 1. And that's this is a uh, disguised quadratic in y now, so e to, e to the y, sorry. So we've got e to the 2y minus 2x e to the y minus 1. So we now use the quadratic formula with a being 1, b being minus 2x, and c being 1, minus 1, sorry. So e to the y will be minus minus 2x plus or minus the square root of minus 2x squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 over 2 times 1. That gives a 2x. The square root of 4x squared plus 4 from here, that's plus because of minus and minus, over 2. Uh, 4 can come out, and that will now become 2x plus or minus 2, because when you take the square root of 4, you get 2. x squared plus 1 over 2. The 2s will come out and the cancel with this 2 here, so we're left with e to the y is x plus or minus the square root of x squared plus 1. So we get that y will be ln of x plus or minus square root of x squared plus 1. Now, whatever value of x is, x squared plus 1 will be bigger than it. Therefore, this solution, uh, the ln of this, x minus x squared uh, plus 1 will be less than 0. And you can't take ln of a negative number or 0. Therefore, there's only one solution ln of x plus square root of x squared plus 1. So what we are saying is our cinch of x is ln of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And then if we look at the graph, so here is the graph of cinch of x. If you draw the line y is equal to x, you should have the equal aspect axis here. The red graph here represents our cinch of x, which could also be represented by this. Okay, and the Interesting thing is that sinh of x is a one-to-one -one function, so it makes it easy to find the inverse. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to find the inverse of sinh, the function of sinh. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.